In the heart of the Bermuda Triangle, where myths and reality merge, lies a mystery that defies time itself. The luxury cruise liner Aurora's Grace vanished without a trace on a stormy night in 1974, only to reappear 50 years later, as if the ocean had swallowed it whole and spat it back out into the light of day. The news of the Aurora's Grace's return spread like wildfire, capturing the world's attention. Families rejoiced at the return of their loved ones, believing them to have returned unharmed. But as the truth unraveled, it became clear that something was amiss. The passengers and crew of the Aurora's Grace were unchanged, as if frozen in time. They had no memory of the past 50 years, believing only a few days had passed since their departure. The world they returned to was vastly different from the one they left behind. Technology had advanced, loved ones had aged or passed away, and the world had moved on without them. Among the returning passengers was Captain William Hawthorne, a seasoned sailor who now found himself lost in a sea of confusion and disbelief. As he stood on the deck of his beloved ship, gazing out at the unfamiliar skyline of Miami, he knew that he and his fellow travelers were not just lost in space and time, but also in their own minds. Captain Hawthorne was determined to find out what had happened, to uncover the truth behind their disappearance and sudden reappearance. With the help of a young journalist, Christy Carter, who had been following the story since its inception, Captain Hawthorne began to piece together the puzzle. They discovered that the Aurora's Grace had been caught in a violent storm that had swept them into a vortex, transporting them to a parallel dimension where time flowed differently. In this dimension, they had been trapped in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over again, unaware of the passage of time in the real world. It was only through sheer luck that they had managed to break free, returning to their own reality 50 years later. But their troubles were far from over. The Aurora's Grace was now a ghost ship, adrift in a world that had long forgotten them. They had to find a way back to their own time, to reunite with their families and make sense of the life they had lost. As they delved deeper into the mystery, they uncovered a dark secret that had been hidden for decades. The storm that had engulfed them had been no ordinary storm but a portal to another dimension, a dimension ruled by a malevolent force known as the Abyssal Entity. The Abyssal Entity had been drawn to the Aurora's Grace by the sheer despair of its passengers and crew, trapped in a never-ending cycle of hopelessness and fear. It had ensnared them in its web, using their memories and emotions to sustain itself, while they remained oblivious to its true nature. With each passing day, the Abyssal Entity grew stronger, its influence spreading like a cancer throughout the ship. Shadows danced in the corners of the corridors, whispers echoed through the empty halls, and the air grew thick with a sense of dread that hung over the Aurora's grace like a shroud. Captain Hawthorne and Christie knew that they had to act fast. They had to find a way to break free from the Abyssal Entity's grip before it consumed them all. With the help of a small group of loyal passengers and crew, they began to search the ship for clues, following a trail of cryptic messages and hidden symbols that led them to the heart of the Bermuda Triangle. There, in the midst of the swirling waters and the howling winds, they discovered a gateway to another dimension, a realm of darkness and despair where the Abyssal Entity dwelt. Determined to confront their tormentor head-on, Captain Hawthorne and Christie stepped through the gateway, ready to face whatever lay on the other side. What they found was beyond anything they could have imagined. The Abyssal Entity was not just a creature of darkness but a sentient being, a remnant of a long-forgotten civilization that had been destroyed by its own greed and ambition. Driven mad by its isolation, the Abyssal Entity had sought to create its own kingdom, a realm where it could reign supreme and bend reality to its will. It had lured the Aurora's Grace into its grasp, using it as a vessel to bring more souls into its domain, trapped forever in a never-ending nightmare. But Captain Hawthorne and Christie refused to be its victims. With the help of the lost souls they had encountered along the way, they launched a daring assault on the Abyssal Entity's stronghold, using their newfound knowledge and strength to weaken its hold on the Aurora's Grace. In a final, desperate battle, they confronted the Abyssal Entity, facing their deepest fears and darkest desires. With a mighty roar, the entity lashed out, its form twisting and contorting as it fought to maintain its grip on reality. But Captain Hawthorne and Christie stood firm, their resolve unbreakable. With a final, desperate effort, they unleashed a wave of pure energy, shattering the abyssal entity's hold on the Aurora's grace and banishing it back into the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. As the dust settled and the darkness receded, the Aurora's grace began to fade from view its time in this world at an end. But Captain Hawthorne and Christy knew that their journey was far from over. They had found redemption in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle, and they were ready to face whatever lay ahead, together. Hand in hand, Hawthorne and Christy walked away from the shore, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. 
The sun rose on a new day, casting its golden light on a world that was full of possibilities. And as they disappeared into the distance, the echoes of their journey lingered, a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the power of redemption.